Invisibility is one of the coolest superpowers that we watch in movies, read in stories and fantasize about. In this video, we will take a look over scientific approach towards achieving invisibility. So the one simple approach is by using a digital camera and projector. So a digital camera captures the scene and a computer processes it. The projector receives the enhanced image and projects it back towards the person wearing a particular cloak. The cloak acts like a movie screen reflecting the light directly back. But it can only work in 2D and it shows some reflections and it is non-dynamic which means you can't take your dog on a walk and be invisible at the same time. The first scientifically explained fictional character with the powers of invisibility appeared way back in 1961 comics called Fantastic Four. The girl named Susan had the superpower to bend all the wavelengths of light around herself without causing any visual distortions and hence she got the name of Invisible Woman. Well, out of the fictional world, this concept in scientific terms is called metamaterial cloaking. The metamaterial cloaking is achieved by manipulating the paths traversed by the light through optical material. The metamaterial contain tiny implant which can control the refractive index at every point in the material. This would enable the light to bend its path around an object. The metamaterials have negative refractive index. That means the incident ray and the refractive ray lie on the same side of the normal. For a negative refractive index, the material have, must have the permittivity and permeability less than zero. Since none of the elements in the common form show a negative refractive index, the metamaterials have to be engineered to achieve such properties. Electromagnetism and especially optics contain loads of material properties which are allowed in terms of laws of physics, but we can't find those properties in nature. Same in case of metamaterial. In metamaterial, atoms and molecules are replaced by large elements which have a physical structure like metallic ring or holes. For simplicity, let's look at this example. There are squares present on a structure and when magnetic field applied normal to these squares, a current is introduced in the ring that in turn produces the magnetic field and if squares are not complete, that gives a resonance circuit and if you choose resonant frequency, you get a whole spectrum of very different properties from this material. One of the properties is that for some frequency, magnetic response coming is opposite in direction for the applied magnetic field. If we exploit this property more, then we can have a similar kind of 2D structure having array of grid perpendicular to each other. One of them is to change the direction of electric field negative to the applied one and other one is for magnetic field. The metamaterial clock hence can guide the incident wave to bend around without affecting it. But to bend an incident wave, the internal structure of metamaterial must be smaller than the wavelength of radiation. Since visible length have two small wavelength, it is still difficult to fabricate the metamaterial to achieve the purpose of invisibility. Hence, the present research in metamaterial is to achieve bandwidth where invisibility of arbitrary object can happen.